Well, she almost burned down to the ground. So, uh, let me tell you that story. <laughs> So there I was, cruising back home after just getting off a live stream with New Guy's Guitar. I had the kiddo, right? The kiddo hounds me, hounds me for some Happy Donalds. McDonald's calls it Happy Donalds. And being the, you know, father, you know, wrapped around her finger like I am, I go, fine, all right, well, We'll go through the Happy Donalds. So I pull in, shut off the car, obviously, because there's no way to order with the car running, right? I mean, if you can order fast food with the car running, it's clearly not loud enough, right? Order the food, and when I go to restart the car, she doesn't want a light. Just go, Ugh. Whoa, 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 right? I'm going, oh, come on. What's going on here now, right? Is it a dead battery? There's no way. No way. So I keep trying. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And then I spot coming out of the hood uh, smoke, so, <laughs> which alarmed me because... Well, there's nothing under there should be smoking, right? It's like, whoo, okay, what's going on here now? I open the hood, and I see a wire smoking. Let me show you which one. So as I open the hood, I happen to notice this wire right here going to the battery is smoldering, right? It clearly, it, that, that's not supposed to happen. And, you know, electrical fires are, you know, gasoline fire, who cares, right? You know, not a big issue, right? Catches some leaves on fire or something, do doesn't matter. Electrical fire, that's some scary stuff right there. So it's like, oh, oh no. So I kind of grab this wire. This wire's broiling hot. And I go, oh. So I come over here and rip that off right away. Because naturally you leave this just loose enough to rip off, but tight enough to where, you know, if you give her a good cinch like that, it ain't going anywhere. And, uh, well, you know, that in of itself was also hot. You know, burned my hand a little bit. But I saved the car. And uh, that really threw me for a loop. So I got it home, right? Now I'm sitting here thinking to myself, what in the world could cause this wire to all of a sudden start self-destructing, right? I mean, what, okay. And I thought to myself, well, the only thing this wire goes to is the starter. So possibly the starter might have a dead short in it. I mean, the starter looks to be about as old as the car. So, you know, it, I believed that it could be the problem. So I order up a starter through uh, O'Reilly's, takes a day to get, right? And I go to bed. Well, the next day, I decide to come back out here, re-hook up the wire, right? The negative, and try to start it. Because sometimes things just fix themselves, you know? Maybe something was really hot, and now that it's cooled off, now it will work, you know? I'm trying to find more clues to what's going on here. And as I sit in the driver's seat, through the gap in the hood, I can see this, and when I try to start it, I see sparks coming from the positive side of the battery uh, wire. This wire, to be exact. And, uh, well, when I came out to look to see where the sparks were coming from, I grabbed this wire and just dink, popped it right out just like that. Well, that's not supposed to happen either, right? And then I got to looking and it's like, ooh, okay, check this out. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, this part right here 
she is melted. This wire got increasingly hot and started to melt this lead. And it melted itself off in here, right? So my guess is at some point there must have been some corrosion or something built up inside of here. You can even see a little bit right there. And it added resistance. The resistance added heat. The heat started to melt this just a little bit, which created a, you know, more resistance because not as good as connection. So it added more heat, more resistance, more heat until it just finally melted itself clean off of here. Taking, you know, this wire along with it because that's the wire going to the starter and just heated everything up because this was literally just kind of sitting in here. You know, not even connected anymore. So, I got this new wire right here, right? Hooked it up. Starts up now. Word of warning though if uh, you ever have this happen to you, make sure you replace on this wire going to your starter. Because now that she's fried, you know, it's all the insulation is compromised and you know possibly the copper itself could be compromised somewhere along in there but I'm gonna ignore that and just say that it works because uh, well everything's getting changed in here eventually anyway and I'll just replace it when that time comes do as I say don't do as I do right so that is the uh, story of how she almost burned down to the ground. Pretty neat, huh? Well, at least it is now that it's over. So yeah, that's it for now, and I'll catch you next time.